Good morning all. So today's topic is fly ash. These are the uh, thermal power plants. These are the abundant elements of fly ash which is produced in the process of production of electricity. If you go towards the thermal power plants like national thermal power plants which is located in Ramagundam in Andhra Pradesh, in Telangana state and some other thermal power plants, nearby the vicinity of the thermal power plants there are abundant hills, mountains of mountains of fly ash will be located. So that is the picture about. So how this particular fly ash is advantages and disadvantages to the population that I am going to discuss number one. And second point is how it is going to in increase the amount of pollution into the atmosphere. <coughs> so the fly ash, the concept is fly ash. The concept is fly ash. I am going to discuss about fly ash. What is this fly ash? What is this? The National Green Tribunal has imposed penalties of up to 5 crore on thermal power plants that have not fully disposed of the fly ash they, they, they generated. You know, the fly ash which is generated, the fly ash which is generated by the thermal power plants, by the thermal power plants, it need to be disposed by the thermal power projects. If that particular fly ash is not disposed of by the thermal power plants, then it is going to increase the pollutants. Hence, National Green Tribunal imposed heavy penalties on that particular thermal power plants who are who did not dispose of the fly ash. Fly ash is produced by coal-fired electric and steam generating plants. Typically, coal is pulverized and blown with air into the boiler's combustion chamber, where it immediately ignites, generating heat and producing a molten mineral residue. So the coal with a pump of oxy air, both will be pumped into the broilers where it will be burned and with the burnt, the steam will be released and the steel will be releasing the, will be rotating the turbines. In this particular process, the electricity will be produced. So the output, so the output, the outcome which is coming out, the outcome which is coming out from this particular thermal power plant is fly ash. Fly ash is a major source of particulate matter 2.5. Find respirable pollution particles in summer. It becomes airborne and gets transported to a radius of 10 to 20 kilometers. It can settle on water and other surfaces. Fly ash contains heavy metals from coal. A large amount of PM 2.5 and black carbon will be produced, which is very harmful to the human beings. So fly ash is a, is a, is a potential pollutant which will be affecting the health of the man. Hence, there is a need to control the fly ash for the sake of decomposition of the fly ash. They need to disposal of fly ash. Significance and concerns associated with fly ash. The order is significant because of the high contribution of fly ash to air and water pollution and its impact on crops being grown in villages around this plant. So wherever there is thermal power plant is there, the fly ash which is coming out from the thermal power plants, which will be going into the air, which will be going into the water bodies, which will be going into the agriculture lands and will be settling, which will be disturbing the agriculture pattern. It is highly economical. Use of fly ash is environmentally friendly as the waste material from industries are effectively being used to create quality building material. This is a positive thing. Fly ash has very small particles which makes the concrete highly dense and reduces the permeability of concrete. It can add greater strength to the building. This is another very important. That means wherever there is absence of sand in the place, in place of sand we can use the fly ash. The fly ash can be used in the formation of concrete by which we can use in the building of the houses. The concrete mixture generates very low heat of hydration which prevents thermal cracking. Fly ash concrete is resistant to acid and sulphate attacks. These are the positives of, of constructing a building by using the fly ash. The use of fly ash gives concrete good workability, durability and finish work. So this mainly the fly ash can be used in construction sector. Disadvantages of fly ash. The quality of fly ash can affect the quality and strength of cement concrete. Poor quality fly ash can increase the permeability of the concrete and cause damage to the building. So they, if there is a poor permeability, the quality of the fly ash is compromised and when we use the fly ash into the construction of the houses, there will be increase in permeability and the water will penetrate into the house. There is a chance that house might collapse if there is a poor quality of fly ash. Hence, we need to be properly aware about the quality of fly ash using in building materials. 
need for education and awareness generation road contractors and construction engineers need to know the benefits of using fly ash in construction till today people the contractors won't, won't use the fly ash in construction there is a need to create awareness and education with respect to using of fly ash measures need to be taken to reduce the cost of construction of roads using fly ash by way of tax structure subsidies and transportation services besides there is a need to prevent the ash from coming to the power plant by washing the coal at its place of origin the government should also come out with a policy to encourage fly ash use in cement plants so this is the various positives of usage of fly ash so this is my name and this is my gmail id this is the quora this is the telegram channel if you join in the telegram channel you will be pumped with everyday current affairs and current affair videos and please subscribe to my channel thank you